Halal trading has closed on February 1st, 2018. Let's go over yesterday's calls. Usually it's more fun than it's going to be today. We looked for a pattern with an early low and a late high. That we got. We said it had a tendency to rally into the close. Certainly that wasn't evident today. We had some higher targets. One was from the Fed whipsaw. We wanted to see 28.43. Here's wave one. Here's wave two. Just violating that line by a little doesn't mean anything to me. But once you go over it with conviction like this, you really should go up to the target. And when you undercut it by this much, that usually reliable signal failed and failed in grand style. Just as the tendency of this pattern to close near the high failed in grand style. We have more things we don't like about today's action. Here was your drop. Here's your Fibonacci retracement. And we stopped right on it. All that's pretty negative stuff. It all gets invalidated if we gap up and promptly take out today's high. What's positive about the pattern is that despite all this drop, we still closed over all these lows despite the negative pattern. We also have a higher MJT target, which I suspect won't print, but that's the number. Early on, we had an ultimate sell signal that was satisfied. The system said this rally came too soon. It was a false move. Said it would retrace to that line, which it did. Right at the top, we got a MJT plus three sell signal. Even though the signal worked, worked, I have to say, it uh, doesn't usually lead to a move of this magnitude. It's usually a signal for scalpers. Doesn't mean it can't go that big, but it just is very unusual for it to pay off like this. And the system also said it's a false move and prices will retrace, giving this as a target. And uh, all the positivity is invalidated if we gap down promptly take out this low. The negativity is invalidated if we gap up promptly take out this high. <clears throat> we also have a price target at some point. Prices should return to this line. Doesn't mean it has to be anytime soon, although usually it is. With a number of usually reliable signals fail as happened today almost always it leads to more trouble unless we gap up and take out this high fast tomorrow should be a down a day it should certainly have an early low doesn't preclude it doesn't preclude gapping up first but it should it should have an early low and because of failure at resistance and proximity to a high which I think is going to hold. There's a chance, but not a requirement, but a chance for a real tank tomorrow. So if anyone's long, I'd be extremely cautious. Tomorrow's call, we have mixed signals most likely is gapping and trading outside the day's range. Next, most likely is little change in the big move on Monday. Neither one has to happen, but usually one of them does. If we start dropping with conviction early in the day on the Friday, I don't really see anything at this point which could stop the drop from continuing all day long. Futures are down as I'm recording this. And if they don't recover, we have the potential of a real tank tomorrow. And that's today's call.